Oh, it feels so weird to be back on YouTube again. So, as you can tell, I've done some fake nails, which is a questionable decision, but I feel like they look pretty good, from far away at least. I was brainstorming on things to do for this video because I haven't posted in a while, and I've changed so much from when I consistently posted on YouTube that I was almost a bit nervous to start posting myself again because I'm so much more confident and I just know myself in a different way and I'm not like mixed up in anything toxic anymore so it feels really good to kind of just be able to talk and really really be me and to truly be happy while I'm talking. <laughs> I of course filmed a makeup tutorial which is coming out hopefully next week or the week after depending on editing and this week I thought what better to start with than some new products that I have been loving. Just simple, easy things that I have been really liking. If you guys want to see more videos, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what else you want to see. I am planning a vintage haul, but let me know if there's anything else clothing-wise that you want to see. Um, to start out, I wanted to talk about this Chanel Balm Essential. This is the sculpting one. There's also a clear one, which is really nice too for some extra dew. So I don't know if you can see it in the light, the way that I have my lighting today, but I feel like it's more of a sheen versus looking like a like really intense highlighter. It gives you a really beautiful glow. I love it. I think it's really nice and it doesn't stay sticky. I feel like some people get nervous with balms because you're afraid your hair is going to stick in it, but it does not do that on me at least. Also another dewy product and also another thing that does not have the stickiness as you can see is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Setting Spray. I don't know where I saw this first. It had to be on someone's Instagram story or a video or something like that. But as soon as I realized that it was this dewy setting spray, it was like, oh, hello. <laughs> like, right up my alley. I really, really have been loving this. I've had it for a week or two. It doesn't leave your skin wet looking. It leaves it just looking like it's hydrated. So it's maybe a little bit less dewy than in my head I imagined it to be. So it's definitely not that kind of glass skin, oily look that some people really like, but it doesn't make your skin super matte and dry looking. It just is like normal hydrated skin. So Chanel has a line of makeup products for men. It's called Boy de Chanel, and this is the lip balm from that. It's a beautiful, sleek Chanel lip balm. No color, super matte, not super matte, just like not shiny. And it is so beautifully hydrating, and I absolutely adore this. <laughs> Almost never use a powder blush, but I've really been loving the um, Patrick Todd blush. This is in the color She's Passionate, and it's quite a pinky color. I'm wearing it today. I might not have put a ton on, but I feel like it just adds a bit of a natural flush. It's really good for warmer skin tones. I'm somewhere between a neutral and warm type, I think, and I really, really love it. So this fan I actually got because I saw the Patrick Ta fan on Sephora.com, and I was like, and it's such a good idea and I was fully here for buying it for $24 and then I was like huh let me just check Amazon real quick and I forget how much this one was but probably like eight bucks or something like that I love it I would have paid the $24 and been super happy to have a fan but it's so nice for setting spray for mascara for anything else that's like wet eyelashes whatever you want to use it for I don't wear a ton of makeup so I thought I might not use this a lot I don't use it on a lot of things, but it's such a nice thing to have. Like, it just feels so luxurious to put your mascara on and then be like, ah, oh, you know, like, let me just fan myself. Or the setting spray. Mm. Mm, I love it. This is a product that I've actually had for a while, and it is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the color Anywhere Caffeine. But I just recently started using it as a lip liner. And I don't know why I didn't before. It's this beautiful, like, mauve color. Um, I've clearly been using it a good amount. Let me see if I can draw a little bit out of my hand. Don't know if you can see that well, because I don't have contacts in today, so I can't see my camera screen. It's very similar to the lip color that I have on my lips today, but 
I would say maybe a little bit less of an orange tone to it. The only thing I do have to say is that they are a little bit dry, so you definitely have to use a lip balm before and or after. So this next product, if you've followed me on any of my social medias, you've probably seen me talk about this before because I'm so obsessed with it. Um, but it is the Cover FX SPF 30 Booster Drops. I love this product so much. It's just such a nice, easy thing. My skin is super sensitive to sunscreens, and I will constantly get little bumps everywhere and irritation from almost every single sunscreen. This one I use on my face every single day and I never ever have an issue with it. It's clear so it's really good for all skin tones and you can mix it in with makeup, you can mix it with skincare. I typically will just apply a few drops onto my hands, rub them together and pat onto my face over moisturizer. I don't really put it on by itself. I have another blush that I wanted to talk about um, that I thought was really cute and is a beautiful color. It's the Holika Holika, I hope I'm saying that right, Jelly Dough Blusher. And this is in the color Rose Jelly. It's a little cute thing and it has a pad that comes with it. And I don't know if you can see the color on my hand, but it's like a very gentle, soft pink. It looks very light and powdery on the skin, even though it is a cream blusher. So I really, really have been loving this. It's a similar color to the blush that I have on today, but a really beautiful formulation, I think. Is that the same? I'm just gonna say that's the same framing. Honestly, I have so much respect for girls who do this all with fake nails because it's so hard to like change out a camera battery and or a memory card and things with nails like this. I'm like, what did I do to myself? So hopping back into this. So the next product that I wanted to talk about is from Dr. Barbara Sturm and it's the face mask. I think I've talked about this in videos before maybe but I really, really adore this product. I think it's so nice because it's not only moisturizing, it's also heavily calming, so it's really nice for skin that is a little bit more sensitive. I will take these little packets with me everywhere. I typically will leave this on for much longer than it says, or I'll apply like a very thin layer to my skin as a moisturizer, like a deep overnight moisturizer, even during the day sometimes under my makeup. This is my last packet while I'm here. I've been trying to stretch them. So this I think I use a lot when I'm actually doing my makeup but I almost always forget to put it on when I'm doing a makeup video and it is Becca's under eye primer. It's such a beautiful packaging and beautiful product and it really really helps my concealer stay and blend out really beautifully so if you guys are interested about trying it or anything it is really worth it and I really love it. <coughs> my favorite product this has been something I have been using on my skin. I never thought about Dr. Dart as being like one of my favorite skincare products. I don't know why. The Tiger Grass Cream is so good. I do trend normal to dry skin, so this might be a bit heavy for you if you have more oily skin or something like that, but I have found that this is amazing on my skin. Like so good and there's days where I'll just use this or use this in an oil and my skin is very very happy. It's very calming on your skin. Um, I've had some irritations lately just because of stress and I was really sick for a while and my skin was really really not happy and this helped me a lot. Another thing that I was using when my skin was not super great, when I was not feeling well, I got so sick like two months ago month and a half ago now maybe, I don't remember. The Dr. Kirkland Therapeutics Canvas Infused Natural Skin Cream has been so good to my skin and I've been using this forever so you've probably heard about it in videos before. You can get it without THC on their website and I don't know if they sell this in stores outside of California, like dispensaries outside of California, but I do know that Massachusetts also has a really, really beautiful face serum. It's more like a face oil um, that I also really love, but I'm out of. I haven't been to dispensaries in other states, so I'm, I'm not sure. The next product I want to talk about, I love so much, and I actually stumbled on it by accident. It is Tamanu Oil, and I was looking for something for dermatitis, like a natural remedy. This popped up, and I bought it, and I discovered, after looking into it a little bit more, that it's used literally for everything from acne to scars to, like, 
uh, burns and insect bites and things, eczema, because it has like a lot of really anti-inflammatory properties, it increases collagen production, and apparently has some other properties that help with wound healing, because I think it just encourages your skin to reproduce itself. I've been using this on scars, I've been using this on my psoriasis and my dermatitis, my scalp, and I really love it. Honestly, like anywhere that I feel like my skin might need a little extra help, I, I have been using this on my stomach because I've been working out and eating a lot healthier. I've lost a little bit of weight and I just want to make sure that I keep my skin tight. And I feel like that this stuff has been like my miracle oil. I've also been adding it to my face, but I haven't been using it as much there because I think it is quite a heavy oil. It is used in a lot of anti-aging skincare products, but I think it is mixed with other things. So I'm not sure about the 100% natural pure tamanu oil on your face i would recommend maybe mixing it with something else versus using just this as a heavy oil on your skin for me it's been really amazing for fading old scars and for the psoriasis and the dermatitis and everything um, and i i really really love it so that is all i have for you guys today thank you for tuning in don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you guys want to see, and I'll see you in my next video.